Hey guys, welcome back. In the previous video, we created this circuit and we wrote the first piece of our code on Arduino IDE. And then we tested it using Serial Monitor. So in this video, we'll start making our Android app so that we can control the circuit using the Android app. Guys, let's get started. So guys, the first thing to do is go on Google, type App Inventor, and click on the first link. Go on Create Apps, and wait it to load, and then log in into your account. And so after you log in, go on start new project and then give it a name. I'm I'm call it I'm going to call it home automation Arduino Bluetooth. And then click OK. So now the first step is to start working on our design or the design for our Android app. So we are going to change the name, the title, go on title and give it a title. I'll give it the same, home automation, Arduino Bluetooth. okay so now you see that we changed the title so let's change the background color and you can choose any 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 of these colors myself I go on custom and choose a custom color I'll choose a green yeah I think this one is is perfect so click done and then the background color is changed so now we can start dragging the components to the screen so now go on layout click on horizontal arrangement drag into the screen and then align center center and then change the background color to black and change the width to oh, okay fill parent and then click on user interface select list picker and then drag into the horizontal arrangement and then select the label drag into the same place so now let, let's change the list of the the list picker let's change the name I'm going to call it Bluetooth to so go on text and give it a name Bluetooth okay now click on the label and let's change a name and I write disconnected so Bluetooth disconnected so let's change the, the text color I'm going to choose red Okay, now drag another label. Okay, this one let's remove the text. And then let's change the height. Let's change it to 100 and click OK. So now let's drag another component, go to layout and drag the table arrangement and then change some things change the number of columns and the rows 
and the width change to fill parent. Now go on user interface, user interface and select drag two buttons. Drag into the table arrangement. Okay, now what we have to do is to remove remove this text this text and add an icon uh, 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 an image so click on the first button go on text remove it and go on image upload a file choose and then go where your image is located click on the image and then OK so after okay once the the, the the image is uploaded let's change the height to 130 and the width to 130 pixels so let's do the same for the second button remove the, the text and upload an image choose file and select the image one click on OK and change the height and the width 130 click on OK okay now our design is almost done what we have to do now is to align the these two buttons to be on the center so let's let's change the number of columns let's change to two okay and now drag a label remove the the text and change the width to 100 okay now our design is is completed it's done what we have to do is to change the names are uh, the name of each component so change the name of list picker to bluetooth click on ok the label I'm, I'm going to call it BT mode the button the first one I'll call it lamp on and second one I'll call it lamp off okay so guys in this video we worked on the design for the app and in the next video we'll add a bluetooth element and start adding some blocks for our android app so this is all for today see you next time